What is up guys? Back with another video and we're playing 2K today. I talked to some of my subscribers, you know, they hit me up and said, "Where's the park? Bring more 2K at the park." So, that's what I'm going to do here and I'm also going to be talking about how you can save money and benefit yourself when ordering or buying NBA 2K17. So, let's get straight into the video. So basically, I ordered my edition of 2K. I'm getting a straight $60 one, Paul George. I'm not spending any extra money on limited editions or gold editions. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm solely going to look at the VC only. Now, they do this on purpose because they add extra stuff and it makes up for them not giving you the equivalency of the VC. But anyways, this is my perspective. You guys can feel however you want about it. This is just letting you guys know this is how I think about it. Okay. So if you buy the Kobe edition, right? $80, right? You're paying them 20 extra dollars for 30,000 VC, right? If you look at it, you go into 2K store, you can get 75,000 VC for $20. So you're paying 2K 20 extra bucks for extra stuff, a cover, and for them to rip you off 45,000 VC. That that's just, just plain and simple. They're taking away 45,000 VC and giving you stuff that you can literally buy in the game. Or you go out and buy in real life. Like I can go buy a Kobe poster any time of the day. If I want, I can have someone make me a control controller or something. I can, you know, go get whatever the hell they're selling like skins or some shit for Kobe or whatever I can order those or I can go have those made online so I mean it's really not worth it now let's take a look at the gold edition the gold edition is a hundred dollars now let's use the same method you go out and buy two twenty dollar PSN cards that's a hundred and fifty thousand VC and 2k is only giving you seventy thousand VC plus thirty thousand from the eighty dollar version so they're giving you a total of a hundred thousand VC that's fifty thousand VC they're not gonna give you which means that's five more thousand they're ripping you off from the last version so if you look you get ripped off forty five thousand VC if you order the eighty dollar edition if you order the hundred dollar 2k you're getting ripped off fifty thousand that is outrageous now I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do and I think it's beneficial you're going to spend a little bit more money, but I think it's worth it. So, me, I'm going to buy the $60 2K, which I already did. And then when 2K comes out, I'm going to drop 50 bucks. I'm going to buy VC. I buy VC every year. You know, people do that, you know. Some people look at it as in like, okay, you know, I don't want to start out crappy. You know, because like, especially something like this year, I don't want to go in to my college games and then try to go into getting drafted a 55 overall. I'm trying to go number one. So I'm going to buy VC and get my guy up there as good as possible. So the reason why I'm going $50 instead of 240s is because it's sort of a waste of money to buy two $20 gift cards or two $20 PSN cards. And I'm going to tell you why. Because on 2K... You have, you know, your 5, your 10, your 20s, like your 50s and your 100s, right? If you take two 20s, you get 150. But if you spend 10 extra bucks, you get an additional 50,000 VC, which means you're getting 100,000 more VC than you are if you order the gold edition. So you start off with 200,000 VC, plus I think maybe even like 5,000 that they give you from the pre-order, and you get the game five, no, pardon me, like three, four days early. It comes out September 24th or 25th, but if you pre-order it, you get it September 16th, and it's a Friday. So anyways, guys, that's just my opinion on the game and everything. Back to this gameplay, I've just been skipping over it and talking to you about it. I just wanted to brief you guys a little bit on it. As you see, I take the jump shot, and it's a brick. I don't hold it long enough. This is release one. Uh, as I showed you guys, I talked about it a little bit yesterday. I started using this jump shot 
back when. You know, I've always used it on my center. He's just been nice. And I've used it on my shooting gun. I'm like, screw this. This isn't a bad jump shot. I wonder what I could do with it, actually, if I could shoot with it. And it really wasn't, eh. And then I was on YouTube, and I was watching um, somebody use it in my career. And they were just dropping, like, 60 points, 20 assists, and everything on Hall of Fame. Like, they were killing it. So I go, okay, let me try this again. And it's been a while since I've used it. So I tried it again, and it's okay at the park. It's, you know, but it excels in Pro-Am. It really does. I will try to get some Pro-Am clips. I mean, half the shit is boring in Pro-Am when, when we play. And it's just, it's just, yeah, you know, it's not really entertaining. I feel like it's long and drawn out. I mean, I could edit it and make it short to where like you guys would want to watch it which now that I think about it I could probably do that pretty easy but as you see my teammates are pretty like selfish they uh I, I think these two know each other they invited me into the squad and I accepted it. I didn't know who they were I just accepted it and said screw it I want to play a game and so yeah as you see I snagged the board I'm gonna try to hit him with a Jamal I'm gonna drive up oh, pull up and it's over game well guys thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you in the next episode I'll talk to you later peace oh also before this video ends i'd like to give a quick shout out to living a legend he's one of the subscribers of mine that hit me up and asked if uh, i can do more park but yeah if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be doing this so thanks man for the support and i'll catch you guys later now i'm done <laughs> peace